hello bandana grandma here this is a pop-up kitchen cooking video because it's even news to me i didn't know i was going to do this but i'm trying a new meal tonight and i think it's going to turn out and i'm using the instant pot for something i never used before so i thought i'd just give it a try and uh, turn on the camera for the last part of it so you can see what i'm doing here now i had originally thought of uh, making something out of Living on a Dime's cookbook, Dining on a Dime, and showing that. But I really wanted to use up this cabbage I had, and I felt like making Polish stuffed cabbages or galumkas. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Let's see. Allison's here. Hello. And Pamela Lopez. Hello. <laughs> so... That's what I'm doing. I'm going to wait for a few more people to get in here before I continue because it's not going to take very long. I got most of it done already. I'm just going to get it in the pot pretty much. I am making a video so that if it does turn out well, and I think it might, then I can put the video up and the how-to I did it. All right, who's that? Larisha, hello. Welcome. So what I did so far is I steamed a cabbage so the leaves would come off it and I sauteed up hi simple food simple life Robin Pam oh Allie saying hello to Pam okay so I steamed up the cabbage and I sauteed onions and um, green peppers in a saucepan and added some ground beef and then I put in paprika and salt and pepper and some uh let's see there was some garlic I put garlic in there so I got that all going so and then I put rice in it so I got the rice and the burger and the seasonings and I got that all cooking in a pan and that's right here that's my stuffing now just before I started this I went out into the yard to see what was left in my garden and I found some really nice peppers and some cherry tomatoes and a bunch of collards I was tempted to use the collards to roll the cabbage and I would have done that except I had a perfectly good I had a perfectly good nice head of cabbage in the fridge so I decided just to use that up and I can use these for another meal and I've got more in the garden yet. Not a lot. It's really coming to the end of its days, summer days here. Okay, Carlene is here. Coco's here. Welcome, welcome. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I already... Oh, thank you, Allison. <laughs> you, know, if, you know what I did with my hair that was astonishing? I'm... Usually, if I want to curl my hair, I have to go to all kinds of, with the hot, I don't like to use the hot things, so I usually end up putting it full of steamrollers or going to bed with all these little curlers in my hair. Last night, people who came to see me cook, forgive me for this, but they asked, they, they said something about the way I look today, and I wanted to tell you about my hair. Last night, before I went to bed, I put the hair up in a ponytail and I ran uh, my hand under the faucet and just kind of went like this to my ponytail to dampen it and I put one curler in it this <laughs> this thing that I got like six of them for a dollar at the dollar store so I rolled my ponytail down and I folded it in like that and I slept like that and when I woke up and took it down I had curly hair so who would have thought it'd be that easy that's what I did all right, back to the cooking. Uh, my screen froze. It says I'm on, so hopefully I am for four minutes now. And in case I forget, tonight at 6.30, uh, Living on a Dime is on. They're on three times a week, live stream, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6.30 Eastern Time. And she usually cooks something out of her cookbook, Living on a Dime. So make sure you go see them after I'm done here. I won't be on very long. All right, now let's take a look at what I'm doing. Here's my cabbage that I had steamed and I pulled it off. The next thing I need to do 
is where this thick rib is. Just take out a piece of that. That way it'll roll up easier. All right. Now some of these leaves are big, some of them are small. I'm going to spoon my dress, my uh, filling into there, depending on the size of the leaf, one to two tablespoons probably, and then just roll them up. You, you trim this because if it's too thick, it won't roll very well, and it's easier to trim after you've steamed it, which I've done. I'm still steaming the other half of the cabbage now on the stove. Alrighty, so I'm going to roll this up. Fold it in. Now this rice is has not been really cooked. It's only uh, been sautéed a little bit with the um, veggies and the meat. Right, again, I'm trimming this fat rib so it rolls easier. Sometimes they tear, but that's okay. They and the rice is still kind of hard, but I'm gonna try and cook it in the instant pot. Never did this. I'm not sure it'll work. I have seen other people claim it does well. I'm not real sure on the proportion, so we're experimenting. Roll up this one. I can't really read your comments while I'm doing this. I'll check when I get a break, when I put them in the Instant Pot. And this meat I'm using is a mixture of what I had on hand. I had ground chicken breast and I had 80% burger ground beef and I mixed them together so that's what I'm using so talk among yourselves while I do this it's going to take a few minutes Probably should, should have done most of them up before I went live. So you didn't have to watch me roll all of them. But that's why you can talk among yourselves and subscribe to each other's channels. Get to know one another a little bit. We all like these live streams, don't we? I've made this dish before with my um, collard greens, but they weren't large enough. I, some of them rolled and some of them weren't large enough to roll. So in that case, I just cut them up nicely and put them in a casserole dish and kind of made freestyle galumpkies or unstuffed galumpkies, and they were good. But I cooked those in the oven, and today I'm going to experiment and use the electric pressure cooker, or as many people call it, an Instant Pot, although mine is not that brand name. Mine is a Maximatic Elite 10 quart with the additional stainless steel 10 quart insert. It came with a Teflon 10 quart insert but I wanted stainless steel, so I spent the extra money and ordered that. 
I think it was QVC I got it on. It's either that or home shopping, but I think it was QVC. If I can give you a, a wider picture so things don't get too boring looking at the same old thing. Look a little bit at me too. Take the stem out so I can roll it. Looks like I'm going to run out of filling before I run out of cabbages. But that's okay. I can lay the cabbages, the extra cabbage leaves, over the top of the ones that are rolled. Alright, I think I got enough for one more. Now, when I was cutting up those peppers from my garden, the markers were gone. I wasn't sure what kind I was getting. I had planted Anaheim and Poblano and Jalapeno and Bell Peppers and a few other kinds that I can't remember the names of. I think something called Burra. Some of them were hot. Some of them were not. I tried not to plant anything that was super hot because I don't care for really super hot things. And the first one I brought in, and I, I didn't recognize what they were because they all started looking the same. They were kind of the same shape. And I brought the first one in, I washed them up, and I started slicing them. And I kind of touched it and touched it to my mouth to see if it was hot, and it wasn't. It was pretty mild, and I was happy for that. So I thought they were all going to be pretty much like that. But in the end, my hands started burning, <laughs> and I knew one of them had to be hot. So I limited how many peppers I put in here because I know one of them is pretty hot. Okay, they don't look bad, do they? Pretty good. I'm happy. Now I'm going to take it over to the Instant Pot. Make you a little taller so you can see in there. And we'll get ready to put these in. Let's see what you can see. I'll pull it forward a little. Now I don't have a rack for inside my pressure cooker, my electric pressure cooker. So I peeled carrots and just laid them in there like a rack. That way I get more food. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just lay these cabbage rolls right on top of the carrots sometimes the bottom of the pot can scorch a little now before I go any further I'm going to put a little bit of water in there and I didn't want my cabbage rolls to scorch I'd rather the carrots did Okay, that's as many as I had filling for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, around ten, I guess. Now, I've seen recipes where they pour tomato juice over and season that. What I had on hand was my home canned meat sauce. So I'm going to pour this on. Now, this is going to be have to be enough liquid to cook the rice and cook the cabbage. Although it's been steamed, I think that little bit of water I added will be enough. So this is two 
pint jars of my home canned meat sauce. And I think I will take these extra leaves and just lay them over the top here. Let them steam. Put the top on. Make sure it's in the lockdown position. And the setting, now the meat's already cooked because I sauteed it, so I don't have to worry too much about the meat. Um, let me see, maybe I'll just put it on rice. Here's the rice. I'm going to put it on rice and see how that goes. 12 minutes. That's plenty. I think that's what my chicken comes up for too is 12 minutes. It's a little bit of rice. It's already been cooked a little. Let me see. Let me cancel that. If I hit vegetables, it comes up five minutes. Ooh, I think I'll, I think I'm going to put it up a little more than that. So let me cancel that. I'm going to put it up to, let's see. Why aren't you going up? Pressure cooker time. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm going to put it on nine minutes. No, I'm not putting it on eight minutes. That's what it took. All right, it's on eight minutes. We'll see how that does. If it's not enough, I'll just have to put it back in, but I think it will be enough. So here's our experiment going. Can I cook lumpkies in an instant pressure cooker? All right, let me bring you back over and sit so we can talk. Hang on, don't get seasick. Okay, here we are. Now let me roll the let me roll the uh, oh my goodness let's see who all's here let's look out of the bottoms of my glasses again Pamela Larisha Carlene Robin Allie Pam Wolf welcome Coco hello hun. JD, hello. Listening to you while making dinner, says Julie of North Dakota Pink. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Little Green Acres, hello and welcome. <laughs> New beauty tip, thanks. <laughs> yep, my beauty tip. <laughs> Uh-oh, Carlene's been asleep most of the day, not feeling well. I'm sorry, Carlene. I hope tomorrow you wake up feeling lots better. Allison, I like how you took the rib out of the cabbage without slicing it open. Good tip. Yeah, that works pretty good. Catch everything later, says Carlene. Just not feeling well tonight. Blessings to all. Okay, Carlene, feel better, hon. Those are Mondo huge leaves. <laughs> what are you using for the stuffing? Well, I think you saw that. It was ground turkey, ground beef, and some veggies. Onions and peppers. They're perfect. She's definitely done this before. I did make um, them before, but not in the Instant Pot. Looks good. Our last name ends in S-K-I, if that gives you a clue. <laughs> All right, you're talking among yourselves. That's good. Sharon Burke. Aw, isn't she sweet? <laughs> you better raise your bar if I'm your hero, uh, Sharon. Yep, make sure you ring the bell if you want to be notified when I have live streams and uh, videos up. 
But I think I called out everybody who's been in here. You're subbing each other. I think that's great. Oh, goody. Sharon, the chicken cacciatore came out well. I'm so happy. Huge hit with hubby. Good. <laughs> that was also done in the Instant Pot. And that was an experiment, too, but it worked. What will you do with the extra cabbage? Saute with onion and bacon and throw it over the pasta with Parmesan. Yum, that's, a, that's doable. I, in fact, let me... I gotta get up, shut my boiling off my burner. It's burn boiling the rest of the cabbage. And I'm sure it's done. I had half a cabbage left. Okay. Gotta run. I'll come back later and watch the conclusion. Okay. So we got a little bit of time. I definitely have to be off. Well, I got I won't be on till six thirty for sure, but that's when um Living on a Dime comes on. Jatan! Hello, Jatan. Okay, I'm caught up. Good. And with the Instant Pot, it still says eight minutes because if you don't use uh, an electric pressure cooker, you might not know that it has to build up pressure first. And then when the pressure built, gets built up right and it vents, then it starts counting down the eight minutes and then it then it'll be done. I bet your kitchen smells wonderful. Um, it will shortly. Once that gets going, it's going to smell even better. Uh, it does smell good from sautéing the meat and veggies. <laughs> Blessings to you and your bandana family. Thank you. Going to have to look into an instant pot. You and yours. Gotcha. Okay. And Farmer Meemaw. Hey, Jennifer. Now, Jennifer's on the keto diet, so she'll have to leave them. Um, let's see, what's in this that's not good for keto? You can have veggies. You can have meat. I don't know how many carbs are in cabbage. Okay, Tina, hello. Well, I got it mixed up, and I got it in the pressure cooker. And it's counting down. It will be counting down as soon as it meets pressure. I put it on eight minutes. Have you any Polish roots, Susie? My husband does. I don't. My husband, uh, my husband's paternal side of the family was Polish. Is Polish. Okay, Crazy Raven. Hello. Rebel Rose, Connie, hello. Yeah, Black Friday sales. I still am interested in getting a, help me, Allison. Um, what's that other cooker thing? Um, <laughs> Coco, subbed all your peeps. Lots of newbies. Good, good. Stuffed cabbage is delicious. Oh, pardon me. Cabbage is good. Other veggies may be quite... Yeah, carrots would have a lot of sugar in them, I think. A lot of carbs. Missed the first part of your show. I'm not sure. Yeah, I had sautéed turkey burger and ground chicken together with uh, onions, peppers from the garden, and... Uh, oh. Seasonings. And then I stuffed the steamed cabbage with it. Rolled them up, put them in the, in the pot, poured tomato sauce over them. And we'll steam them, we'll uh, cook them down in the pressure cooker and see if they come out and if the rice cooks. Which veggie, veggies are off limits on keto besides potatoes and peas? I would guess carrots has, you have to be careful counting them. Albany Mountain Homestead. Good evening, Bandana Grandma. Just joined the live stream. Glad to have you here. Dinner's in the Instant Pot already. So uh, maybe if uh, it cooks quick enough, you guys could see it come out. And we'll test it out. Okay. 
Jackie, hello Jackie. I was having trouble wanting to go live streaming around dinner time because that's when my husband gets home and I hated to keep him from watching TV or doing the things he would like to do as soon as he walks in the door after working all day because my Wi-Fi was being used and it would be too much of a strain on it. But the kids gave him a new gift for his birthday and it's a bow and arrow set, a nice one, a nice beautiful wooden bow. And He used to like archery when he was a kid. So they gave him that for his birthday in October. And now every day when he comes home from work, he's out there shooting his bow and arrow for a while. So he's happy to do that if I wanted to uh, get my live stream or my videos going while I make supper. Root veggies tend to have higher sugars, no beets. Yeah, that's why I like beets so much. <laughs> They're sweeter. Yep. Hey, to be and Dan. Oh, that was Jackie. Yep, I said hello to Jackie. Kathy Contino? 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 Hello there. Hello, Kathy. I'm sorry if I'm messing up your last name. Glad to have you here. Oh, JD. I love archery, too. He's good at it. He was good as a kid, and he's been out there the last week or so, and he's doing well. I said it right the first time. I don't remember what I said. Contino? Contino? <laughs> Are you getting ready to do some canning? My husband's birthday was yesterday, a Halloween baby. Yeah, I did some canning over this past week, and I should do more beans, so I've left them out, my canning equipment out. That other, that stuff right here, this is the tea I order from England. It's my favorite tea. Uh, I make all my iced tea with it. It's decaf because I am only allowed to have a little bit of caffeine every day. And I use the decaf bags, and they taste good, and they're strong, and they're big bags, so only four bags make a whole gallon of tea. And I make tea like every other day or every third day. Farmer Mima is down 43 pounds. Yep, she likes that more than she she likes uh, eating beets, I, I believe. That's like saying, you know, nothing tastes as good as being thin feels. Yep. I'm sure that's true. Okay, what she says when she's at her goal weight, she may become more paleo. And then she can have beets. You're doing great, Jennifer. I'm really proud of you. I That's something. Because I know you struggle too. And I know all the times you were trying all different things and didn't work for you. And you having trouble sticking to it. And this one, you know, everybody has their thing that works for them and they all work if you work them but some some are work out better for other people for some people than others do can you show us the tea yes actually let me get the one in the cabinet it's open Now, I first heard about this from another channel, um, the Cockeyed Homestead. And Mel from the Cockeyed Homestead, I think her mother was right from England, or she has some strong ties to uh, Great Britain. And she got, she this was her favorite tea. And she told me about it. And this It's almost gone, that's why I ordered more. But the tea bags come like this. And you see their extra size? You get 80 tea bags in a box. I get the decaf because I need to. I like to drink tea all day, and I can't be drinking the caffeinated stuff. Oops. And so, just four of these big bags make a gallon of tea for me, and I make it really quick. I use the microwave now. I know a lot of people don't want to use a microwave, but for me, it's so simple. And I use bottled water because we have we have well water, but it's acidic and it eats the pipes, and I don't like to use it for drinking. So I take my jug of water, and I take a four cup Pyrex uh, measuring cup thingy, and I put four tea bags in it. I fill it up with the bottled water, 
and I nuke it for like six minutes and I put either no sugar in it, a quarter cup of sugar or a third cup of sugar depending on what I want to have, never more than that for a whole gallon. And then I pour, I let it cool, put some ice cubes in it or something, and I pour it back into the same gallon so it replaces the water I took out. And I shake it up, and that's my gallon of uh, tea. Now, it's not sweet tea. It's not southern tea. If that's what you like, uh, you're going to have to add a whole lot more sugar. <laughs> but uh, I like it. I call it my Yankee northern tea. And we drink it all the time here. Yeah, that is Taylor Yorkshire. That's true. Love Yorkshire tea. Okay, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Keto is a life changer for me. No real willpower is required. I, I think in the beginning it is. But after you get that sugar out of your system and all, I'm sure it's a whole lot easier. But for you, it's the best thing. And that's great. Okay, who is that? Go with Daddy. Okay, is that, I don't, I guess it's Kevin, because Heather usually says Heather going Daddy. So I'm doing great. I'm doing great, um, Kevin. Glad to have you here. Now, I mentioned this in my last live stream, but Kevin and Heather from Going Batty have a great channel, G-O-I-N, Going Batty. And they do homesteading things, kind of urban, suburban homesteading now. And um, they, Kevin also does a morning devotional at 7 o'clock each morning Eastern Time on the Going Batty channel. So check that out. A lot of us who are in here, there's a moth flying around. A lot of us who are in this live stream now actually attend that. All right. I got to go backwards to, okay, love you, Yorkshire tea. I'm sorry, I have to get so close, but I just cannot read it. Where, what's the Bible study schedule? I have to get back on track with you guys. Yeah, 7 a.m. It's kind of early for some people. I missed it today, and I'm sorry I did because it sounded like it was worth being there. All right, I just heard the pressure cooker start, and then I heard it seal. So it's going to start counting down now, the eight minutes. It built up the pressure. I discovered that eating according to activity level helps with losing weight. That's true. And when I am on Weight Watchers, uh, you know, they let you adjust your points according to uh, the level of activity you had, and that's a good thing. What are you, let's see, what are you going in the Instant Pot? What are you going, well I have, um, I think he's asking what's in the Instant Pot, and that's Polish stuffed sausage or galumpkies, not sausage, Polish stuffed cabbage or galumpkies. It's an experiment. I want to see if it'll steam the rice enough to make it soft and, and get the, uh, Cabbage is cooked well, too. Um, at my grandma's at that time, I have to watch the videos after the fact. Mm -hmm. Do you add fruit? That must be talking about keto. Yes, bandana, the first week is torture. <laughs> I believe you. It's the same with, like, most other diets, though, because you, you usually have to limit your carbs and sugars to get your points or calories in control and when you're cutting back it's like getting off coffee and you get headaches but once you get past that first three to seven days you know I you know I need to start it I have started again and I've fallen off the wagon and I gotten back on so I'm doing what I can right now and I do tend to be more Weight Watcher oriented because I like to keep my fruit and everything in there Love the tea. Got to lose the sugar, though. Glad I caught you live. Thank you, Barbara. Glad to have you here, honey. Oh, how's my finger? It's, um, 
If you mean from yesterday when I cut it, it's fine now. It took a while. It took a while. See the little? That's where I cut it. It doesn't look like much, but I cut it at two in the afternoon and I wrapped it up tight. And when I undid it at ten, I still had a problem. It was still bleeding a lot, and so I had to wrap it up again. But finally, I got it. So it's okay. Love stuff cabbage, says Albany Mountain. Heather. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Heather. Heather and and Kevin also had their live stream on Wednesday nights at, uh, what time is it? As well as doing their daily Bible studies. Wednesday nights they have a live stream. And Friday nights sometimes they have a live stream. So read his note there. I lost it. I don't know if it's seven or eight. <coughs> okay, Jatan just started PT for her injuries. I hope that helps a lot, Jatan. Four deer romping in the yard, says Sharon. That's nice. <laughs> what meat did you put in the cabbage rolls? I put in a mixture of ground turkey breast and ground beef what I had on hand. Mention diet and I instantly put on weight and feel like I'm starving. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> I just change the things to healthy eating as much as possible. You know, and I've had that work too. If I just approach each meal and say, what is healthy and limit myself, sometimes I have success at that. Jatan, keto works without exercise. I've lost 10 pounds of recovering after surgery. Hey. So I think I'm caught up on the um, comments. If I missed yours, just Put it in there again so I can see it. Can you hear the, the Instant Pot going? Pressure cooker. All right, started counting down. It's on seven minutes now. So it'll start counting down by the minute. And then I have to decide if I want to release the pressure naturally, letting it just come down off pressure itself, which will take longer or if I want to use the quick release, if I think that that pressure was enough to do the job. I think I'm going to use the quick release because it's only veggies. The meat was already cooked. The rice is the one thing I was kind of concerned about, but, and it is brown rice, but it's an experiment. I think I'm going to give it the quick release and see how that works. Anybody who's had experience got any suggestions for that? Yep, steam starting fizzing out. Are you thinking of an air fryer? Yes, that's what I was thinking of. Thank you. I was thinking of getting an air fryer. But I was told, I always quick release. I was told that an air fryer is very similar to a convection. Or, what's what's the one with the fan blowing? Is that the convection? And I have a Cuisinart uh, toaster oven that has the fan on the side that blows it so it you can have that option on it. And I didn't know if that would be similar or not. So that Cuisinart was like brand new at the Goodwill for 20 bucks when I found it. So I was happy with that, and I use it instead of the oven many times to save on electricity. You're living on the edge, Susie. <laughs> yeah, that's me, Robin. Wild and crazy. <laughs> I'll go ahead and quick release, but... I'd go ahead and quick release, but if it isn't done, reset it. Yep, we can do that. Love my air fryer. That sounds like it is very similar. Bandana. I have a couple of a couple air fryer vids. Okay, I'll have to look at those. Yeah, I put an air fryer on my um, 
Christmas wish list. I joked in my last live stream that having seven grown kids is starting to pay off because I'm able to make out a wish list now and usually get what I put on it. <laughs> Finally paying off. Woo -woo, goodwill. <laughs> yeah, any kind of thrift store. How is your daughter doing since her spine surgery? She had the neck surgery, and she's doing quite well from that. It seemed to do everything they wanted it to do. And she has yet to have her more serious lumbar surgery. So it'll be a little while before they can schedule that. And that's the one that, you know, we're really concerned about. And praying for a good re result and uh, that the what they want to happen happens. Relieve all her pain. How long did you set your timer for the cabbage rolls? I took a guess and I set it for eight minutes because I already had cooked the meat and the rice had been sauteed, not really cooked. Eight minutes. So we'll see. If it's not enough, I'll just have to start the thing up again. No harm done. All right. Love bombs are dropped. Gotta pick up kids from... Pro oh, Harry, I didn't even know you were here. Check back later. Hit the likes at Bandana Grandma. Thank you, Harry. Harry's got a, a really nice channel. He's such a positive guy and uh, encourages other YouTubers. And uh, Sweet talked me a lot, too. He, he told me I had a really good channel, and I, I really appreciated that. It was very kind of him when I went into his live stream the other day. So you can check Harry out, Harry Fowler. And uh, he does a lot of good cooking videos. Let's see, Coco, recipe I'm reading with uncooked rice, 18 minutes, and then 15 natural release. Yeah, I guess I should have looked it up, huh? But I did cook it a little, so we'll see. I rinsed it, and then I sauteed it, kind of like rice a <laughs> So we'll see. If it's not done, I'll just put it in again. Sending a prayer to her to do well with the next one. Thank you. So glad she had good results with the first. Yeah, we're thrilled, and so, so is she. She did excellent with the first one. So that was good. All right. And as always, if you want to call out somebody's channel and... Tell us what, who you're watching and why you like them. You can go ahead and do that. While I look backwards through the list and make sure I didn't miss anybody. Okay, it looks like I caught everybody. If I didn't, just repeat it. Okay, my... Fagor pressure cooker looks like your machine, but I have not used it very often. I would love to make cabbage rolls. I'm a scientific tester. <laughs> That's a stretch of the imagination. Okay. So uncooked rice says 18 minutes, huh? Well... We shall see. Birch tree garden, guardian garden. Oh, she's calling out channels. That's what she's doing. Good. Okay. Opal from the suburbs. Okay. Birch tree guardian gardener. Good. Living on a dime live 430 Mountain Time tonight. 630 Eastern Time, which is when I'll watch it, because right now it's 6.10. And I was hoping to be able to open this up before they went live. Oh, hear that? Right. That means it's done with its eight minutes. I have to run, but I love you, says Allie. Thank you, Allie. I'm glad you got by tonight. Okay, I found out one of my brothers had back surgery about two weeks ago. None of my brothers are in contact. Last March, our dad passed, but please pray for his healing. Yes, Red Rose. It's hard to have family strife like that and people going through hard times. So, 
Those of you who pray, you can pray for Fred Rose's brother who's having back surgery. We love you too, Allie. Can you do a video on the cabbage rolls? I was making a video as I was doing it until I got this far, but I think I might be able to cut out parts from my live stream and I'll try because I forgot to, I can't video and live stream at the same time with because I use the same camera. I'll try and put it all together. The big reveal. Send me prayers. Okay. So now I'm a little afraid to do a quick release because I was just told that the rice needs longer. But I'm going to do the quick release and if it needs more, I'll start it up again. All the steam's coming out of here. I don't know if you can see it. And there's a little pin in here, and when that drops, it lets me know it's safe to open it up. Steven, let me see if there's any more comments. Oh, Two Family. Two Family is here. <laughs> yeah, my steamy video. Angie's Pantry. Shout out to Angie Pantry. Very good channel. Angie's Pantry, also very kind to other channels. You want to go check her out. She does a lot of good cooking and canning videos. Bye, J.D. Suburban Hillbilly. Hi, Rebecca. I'm just making bread and turn my mixer on high. Too fast cleaning up the flour. Now you sound like me. <laughs> that smells heavenly. <laughs> Doesn't it though? <laughs> A watched instant pot never releases. <laughs> That's why I'm reading the comments. It was taking too long. I'm listening and reading, just slicing tomatoes for the dehydrator. Excellent. Is the Instant Pot a new toy for you? I think I've had it a year. I don't use it a lot, but I'm enjoying it. M. Brown, hello. Is This is a quick release. This is. I don't know if it should be. We're going to find out. But I am quick releasing it. There's... Uh, a fear or a concern that the rice won't be cooked, so we will find out. Bontera, hello. Hi, Nanda. Glad to have you here. All right, back to my Instant Pot. It won't open until it's safe. That's a nice safety feature of this. So until enough steam is gone, you wouldn't be able to turn this. There's a pin here that comes out, keeps it from opening. Should be ready. There it goes. Okay, here we go. I'm 
I'm going to make you taller again. All right. Now we're going to find out. These are the leaves I put over the top of the cabbage rolls. So this is experimental. Let us know how many minutes we need to cook this. If eight was enough after sauteing everything. All right. Here's the first cabbage roll. All right, let's see if the rice is done or not. It does need more time. So I'm gonna let it go for another 10 minutes or so, put it back on, but it looks like it's gonna be good. It has a good flavor to it. The rice just isn't done. So eight minutes isn't enough. And it's going to be time for Tara to come on in a few minutes. So we're going to go now. I'm going to check and make sure everyone else. A hot pad helps it release faster. I don't know what that means. I saw people throw a towel over it to avoid the spray from going everywhere, but yeah, it smells good. It does smell good when it vents. <laughs> so dramatic. I have a question for people who dehydrate. Can I dry like one tray of onions in the house as long as it is with other veggies? I don't have an outbuilding. Yeah, somebody who dehydrates a lot can answer that. I don't. I want to, but I haven't yet. Tamara, hello. Glad you were here, hon. Alrighty, we're going to get going, Be, but go over to Living on a Dime and make sure you see uh, Mike and Tara on Living on a Dime because they'll be cooking up something good tonight, I'm sure, 6.30. Nice experience, bandana. It'll be good. I just got to let it cook longer. What big eyes you have. <laughs> yeah, I can't read this thing. My print is like this big. Um, um, Sherry, ask Daryl if there's a way to make on YouTube um, live, if there's a way for that scrolling uh, chat that comes up to be bigger because it's so small. I don't need to see my face. I need to see the chat. Okay, hope I can catch more of your live shows. Me too, Julie. Hot pad keeps the full steam blowing out unlike the spoon. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Bye, y'all.